Hi, it's Chris here from IH Motorhomes. So I'm going to do you a little van tour on this Burstner Harmony line. This is the 745. Now, the beauty about this one, it's got a drop-down bed in the back and a drop-down bed in the front. So you've got a lot of floor space. You've got two lounges. But uh, firstly, let's just run down here a little bit. Um, so your habitation door on the Burstners, the wider. Uh, they are qu quite a bit wider than, than, than sort of other motorhome manufacturers, uh, which is mint. Um, external barbecue point here. We've got a large wind-out awning on the top there. Uh, and in the rear, we've got a large garage, so the garage can be accessed from both sides, so you can get lots of good stuff in there. So let's go inside. Okay, so we're in the rear of this Harman Line uh, 745. So as you can see, we've got a lovely sort of comfy, we've got leather settee here, um, but you've got a good space lounge here. Now, the reason for that is we've got a bed above us. Your bed above comes all the way down. It, it comes right down. So you're not climbing a ladder and it is an island bed. So you can, when the bed is down, you can walk around it. Obviously you can get out of both sides. So you've got kind of the best of both worlds in that you've got a lounge and you've got an island bed, which in essence is a fixed bed. And um, when you're sort of putting the bed away, you leave the bed made up, you know, leave all your bed clothes up there and then put it up out the way. And hey presto, here we have a lounge again. Um, but what a lovely open space. We've got large windows at either side of us. We do have a TV mounting here. Um, which we can mount, of course. There's no TV there just right now, but there is a mounting and there's sockets for it there. And of course, we do keep those TVs in stock. Now, um, incidentally, this has got a satellite on the roof. So if you are going further afield, you know, you're going down to France, to Spain, you're still going to be able to get English TV uh, wherever you are, which is absolutely brilliant. But uh, you've got wardrobe space at both sides. There are more storage cupboards here. And then of course, you've got this, this coffee table, which is convenient in that if you're obviously using it as a lounge, you just start watching TV, you've got somewhere to put your drinks and your snacks. But uh, but yeah, really, really nice place to be. Let's, uh, let's have a little look forward and show you the bed. So nice little controls here. You've got you've got sort of light switches and things, but um, you've got this, this key here and then you've got the controls for the bed. So literally just by pressing the button there, um, that will come down. You need to take out the cushions from the rear of the settee to bring it down further, but you get the idea that's going to come right the way down, which is which is great. Um, we've also got a door here so you can close off this section um, I mean if somebody's watching TV somebody wants to maybe read a book in the front you can close this off and, and of, of course if somebody wants to stay in bed and somebody wants to get up and, uh, and make a nice cup of tea in the morning you can keep that closed and I think the, the nice thing about this is if, if you are sort of just getting changed you know you go into bed you only need to shut the blinds in the rear of the van you don't have to close the whole van off albeit you can because the screen has the Remis blackout privacy screens all the windows and the roof lamps have blinds and fly screens as well so nice touch from Bertha. Um so just coming over here we've, we've got a large fridge freezer we've got your freezer at the top here so a good sort of space in there for uh, for whatever you're looking to uh, pop in there with your ice cubes um, and then we've got a good size fridge as well um, now the fridge is an auto fridge and it is a three-way fridge so it will run from mains it will run from gas and 12 volt while you're driving and it will select those uh, those powers if you like um, when they're ready so if we plug in from the outside it's going to go onto mains if we unplug it's going to go onto gas and then when we start the engine we're on 12 volts we've got a cupboard above here now there is a socket in there so somebody's obviously utilized that um, previously and required a socket but that's all fitted already and then coming forward to the kitchen we've got your three gas burner hob we've got a little oven and grill under there and um, which runs off gas and then we've got your sink up above with your pillar tap um, storage above and then we've got a couple of drawers here for, for utensils and all that good stuff. So yeah, the kitchen, it, it does what it says on the tin. Um, with it being a German manufacturer, they don't go to town on the kitchen space. Obviously they, they go outside a lot. There is an external barbecue point, but it has got the three gas burners. It's got the oven, it's got the grill, and of course it's got the sink. So it's got everything we need. Um, we're gonna move in here now. So your shower room, I'll put the door all the way back. So it is a separate shower and toilet in here. So you've got a separate shower cubicle, it closes off so it's not a wet room as such um you've got a, like i say you've got your separate shower cubicle you've got your basin you've got your toilet and you've got your vanity mirror and storage and all that good stuff so not a wet room as i say you're not going to be drying things um it's uh, yeah it's a nice stick it's not utilizing too much space it's not taking up a load of space in the motorhome you know you're not losing anything but um, but you've got all that facility there which is which is great so very nice indeed right we'll swap ends and then we'll talk about the front 
Okay, so we're in the front of the Harbin Line 745. So up above me, we have another bed. So it is a four berth and it is a four belted van. So the electric bed comes down, it comes down to the top of the seats. So on this one, you are climbing a little bit of a ladder, um, but it is a big double bed. So rear bed comes right down. This one drops down, you know, you can pop the kids up there or whatever, which which, which does what we need. Um, beeping just put me off there but we'll carry on <laughs> um so belted seats here we do have the the, the further two traveling belts there and of course you do have your belts on the cab seats but uh, really really nice really plush you've got this this leather upholstery which is which is smashing your table that will come all the way around so you know everybody's got somewhere to, to put the dinner and um, but one two three you know we've got five places to sit here really which is which is grand but uh, but Roof light above the sun's shining through here. Oh, we'll probably just uh, we'll pop that um, we'll pop that down and just black that out so you can see. Obviously, we can we can avoid the sun if it's absolutely boiling, which is great. But the roof lights open, we'll get some air through here with all the blinds shut. It will cool it down quite quickly. Um, now, just in the front here, we've got the leather steering wheel, we've got the leather gear knob, we've got a reversing camera which comes up on the head unit here, which is a DAV radio, and of course you can connect your telephone to that. And then we've got the blackout privacy screen, which I mentioned earlier in the back that come across the windscreen and they are built into the cab doors as well. So you can block all this out too. Um, but uh, I think for me, this, this ticks a load of boxes in that you've got the floor space. It might be that you've got dogs and you need that floor space that they can obviously be in and out rather than being cramped up at the front here. If it was a fixed bed at the back, you, you would be restricted a little bit, but because it's got that drop down island bed, it really, really does tick all the boxes. I know I keep saying tick all the boxes, but it does. It is a genuinely nice place to sit. So if you want to come and look at this one, give us a call. The telephone number is 01977 677 It is on the website, so www.ihmotorhomes.com. And this one's for sale for 74995 I hope to see you soon. Thank you very much indeed.